Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So, first of all, I would like to remind you that uh, I have, my new batches are starting. Kindly register if you want to join my online classes. That will happen through Zoom. So, kindly send me mail to learninghub1979 at the rate gmail.com. So, now today's session and today's session I'll cover the calendar uh, the calendar which uh, we can use in our project so this is the last uh, widget which we will be using for our project so you can use calendar to select the date suppose you are uh, making project on airline booking system or railway reservation system or hotel management system and you want the user to select the date in that case you can use calendar in python using tk Inter. So to do that, we have to again simply this is the program uh, the child write. Now here these all things you have you already know. The only thing new thing that is that you have to do is you have to open MS Word. I'll open MS Word. Sorry, you have to open MS DOS. Go to DOS prompt. Run as administrator. Then you have to install calendar see this is the DOS window simply you have to use pip install tk calendar the spelling will be tk c a l e and d a r okay this uh, this module you have to insert because it is not uh, installed when we install python so it will take hardly a minute to install it I have already installed so it will uh, display the message already satisfied you can see requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it okay in your case installation will happen and you will get your TK calendar module installed so uh, now from TK enter import everything import OS is not needed I am going to remove it then this is also not needed I am going to remove it we have already used it so this is also not needed from TK calendar import star we are going to import everything but we will be using only one module that is calendar one function that is calendar so this is also not needed because I am not going to use image here this is the simple window which is uh, TK enter window which will be displayed in this size and title is calendar configure BG is equal to yellow all these things I have already explained now we are going to start with the calendar so to install calendar first of all I want on my window a label should be there so we will simply write label And label should be on win that is the window tick into window and text is equal to simply text is equal to select date this text I want and yeah or you can write C calendar then command calendar and then I, we can change the font of course font is equal to this we can use bracket here calibri and size we can choose size suppose I am taking it as 20 or suppose 15 and then dot pack here only I am going to pack it if you want you can use pad x or pad y I'm not using it and uh, I'll just run it so that you can know suppose I'm saving it on my desktop the main calendar see calendar this is only label now I'm going to use a button so button will be button will be used to open the calendar button dot button on window win 
and then text is equal to suppose suppose here I am going to write uh, select date select date and here on button I am going to write C calendar that will be appropriate and then same thing font and pack I am going to use this is done and here after font I am going to give command command is equal to suppose now here I want to call a function which will open a calendar calvel so now we have to define this function this is a function so here uh, see when we are op we have opened up we are opening a window so on this window i will open another window to display the uh, display the calendar see that window is we can make it using top level so we are going to use top level another window we are going to define which will be so that uh, the lower window will not close and we will open another window top level over win so that win will exist which was the previous window and over it one more window will open that will display a calendar and here we are going to display calendar so cal is equal to calendar c a l e n d a r calendar and it has different attributes the first one is first of all where you want to display i want to display it on top and second thing is select mode select mode we will always take date there are two options either date or none n o n e if you are selecting none you will not be able to select any date whatever default uh, day month or year you have given that will be selected so you will not be able to select any date so you want if you want user to select a date you have to use select mode date after that you will write year year this is 2020 so i am writing 2020 after that month which is suppose july so we will take seven and then date so i am going to write day rather than date we are going to write day today is 11 so i am going to write 11 so by default this date will be selected and after that if you want to select you can select the date i am going to uh, just after that cal dot pack so i'll show you how it will look like well it's syntax okay function f5 so you can see the first window will open here we have a label selected and a button when you will click on this button a new top label window will appear where we can see the calendar here you, uh, the date you selected was 11 the month was July and year was 2020 here from here you can change the month from here you can change the date uh, year and select the date whatever date you want you can select it so in this way the calendar is displayed now after selecting the date there is no button you cannot see any button if button is there then only you will click on the selected date and that date whatever date you have selected that will be accepted okay so now we will uh, we will create a button so so that you can select the date you can access the date whatever date is selected by the uh, user so what we will do simply we will create a button c button where we want to put this button is equal to suppose button directly also you can use or you can sorry c button is equal to button where you want to place place it on win and text is suppose I want to write ok so when you will click on ok that date will be accepted and after that command command and that date we have to access suppose I want to 
take to the date suppose grab grab date i can write the command and here in this i will write def this is the nested function this will be nested function grab date so this is the function and here i have taken a variable so i will see when you are using uh, when you are creating a project so whatever variables you feel that it will be access throughout the program make it global so i am writing just for for an example for the sake of your learning i am taking it at global here it is not needed at all but when you are working on a project please take it as global so that it can be accessed throughout the program so date is equal to where from where we have to select the date cal cal this is the you can see here where you have defined the function this is the object and cal dot get underscore date this is the function which will enable you to access the date and i want whatever date you have used i want to display it on the uh, screen as a label before that after set, selecting the date i don't need that calendar so we can just uh, we can destroy the top this also i have explained before how to kill the window destroy is the function which you can use to destroy the window destroy so after destroying it you can use label now label will be displayed on the win and text is text is equal to date selected date selected and font color is foreground color is suppose i'm taking it as green and font if you want you can change the font otherwise it's okay i'm taking it as suppose different font i'm taking it elephant and font and suppose 11 after that i have to pack it this is just to display that date is selected after that you can same thing you can use here again to select to get the display the date whatever date you have selected text is equal to where your date is which variable date one so you can make it date one so whatever date you have selected that will be displayed here okay so so again i'll run this now see calendar you can see default is 11 suppose i'm taking it as 24 okay uh, just a minor mistake i have done okay should be out of this means okay i have not packed it that is why it is not displayed i will just pack it now again see calendar now you can see the date is there but it should be one more thing the which i have done the button okay which i have used it should be in this window but i have used it in another window see i'll close this you can see okay is here which is not needed at all so you have to change it okay should be not on win but on top now you can see see calendar now okay is here suppose i have selected 23 click on ok you can see date selected is displayed and whatever date you selected that will be displayed so when you are using the date in project rather than displaying on the label you can uh, save it in mysql connectivity i have already explained so whatever data date you have selected user has selected that should be inserted in the row of mysql table so I hope you understand understood how you can create a GUI calendar in TK Inter. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.